Welcome back to another episode. I am Bucket of Baskets, and we are here for this video to go over the Premier League. Now, I have been waiting to share my predictions for a long time, and I'm sure that you guys are here waiting for me to say something. So right here I got, we're using Tier Maker. Um, online, you can make any tier list you want as well. Um, I have um, Enlist Relegated, Escaping Relegation, so uh, 17 and 16. Top 15, so 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Top 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Oh, no, 10, 9, 8, 7. Top 6 is 6 and 5. Top 4 is uh, 4, 3, 2. And then Champion is number 1. I will go in order, so um, I will say each number as we go up, um, and so let's begin this. Just to let you know as well, I'll be coming up with an Arsenal video after their game on Sunday to see how they react and how they work, how they played, as well as going over some things of like how they should um, operate the season um, based on the players that they have and how they should go about doing those um, from these certain formations they can use to also work around different people's, uh, how you say, preferences. So, let's dive in to our predictions. We have Sheffield United. Now, Sheffield United is one of the newer teams in the league. They just come up, um, won themselves promotion um, via by getting second place last season in the Championship League um, in England, and they did a really good job. However, a lot of the players they had on loan that helped them out get the Championship left, and they really didn't replace anybody too much. They spent a lot of their money in the places that... There were some like, of the players that they did need, um, but they really didn't spend wisely. They got like McBurney, who is from Swansea City, who didn't even get promotion, and he was he was an okay player in the championship. He's pretty good in the championship, but he's not like twenty two million dollars worth. As well as the championship is a lot different than the Premier League, and so it's like they really didn't spend well in the transfer market. They spent like poorly. Didn't address what they needed and what they should have gotten, and so I firmly believe. That I know for a fact they will be relegated. That's what everyone thinks they will be relegated. Whether they get 20th, that's remain to be seen. But I'm placing them at the bottom in 20th. We're going to have for 19th, so the second relegated team, is going to be Brighton Ho and Hove Albion. Brighton and Hove Albion, or just simply Brighton, they were 17th last season in the Premier League. They really didn't make the right choices when it came to the transfer market to address the things that they need. Sure, um, Moy from Huddersfield on loan is a pretty decent, um, but they didn't really get anyone uh, worthwhile to help out their team, and they are going to be relegated into this next season. So the next team that will be relegated this season will be Burnley. Now, Burnley got 15th last season, and they lost um, three out of the last five games at the end of the season. Their form dropped significantly. Um, I think that they will be probably the closest to getting out and escaping relegation out of the other, out of the other teams, um, but I feel like they'll just not do enough. They didn't do a lot of business in the transfer market, and the business that they did really didn't solve anything. So it's just going to be the same old boring Burnley. And I really, not only do they not look promising, I just don't want to see them anymore. They're not a team that is fun, and they're not creative. They're just boring. 17th place is barely escaping relegation. Um, from 18, 17 to 16, I had a tough time deciding which team I would thought would go down and so I decided to go with 17th will be Southampton. Southampton got uh, just above Brighton Hove, Al and Hove Albion last season in 16th. Um, they addressed some of the issues that they had. They uh, 
had a great signing in Danny Ings. They bought him instead of having him alone, as well as bolstering more of their attack. They didn't really address much of their defense, which I felt was a little bit of an issue last season. But um, they definitely are, uh, they're barely going to skate by. And I feel like it'll be very close, a tight race between them and Burnley. But um, they just barely escaped for one more season, everybody. Oh my goodness, Southampton, you are, you're adorable. Another team that just barely escapes relegation will be Norwich City. Now, Norwich is a team that I feel that might have some promise, but just not enough. They, they did a decent amount of good, decent good job in the transfer market, spent a lot of money. There's a lot of comparisons between them, as well as Aston Villa, who I'll get to later sometime in this video. We'll see where. Um, to splashing a bunch of cash and doing something with it. Or not. We'll find out. But I feel like with a team that Norwich has as well as getting first in the championship would just be barely enough to keep them up. Um, they have a du they're, they didn't really address too much of their defense, but their attack and their midfield um, are very creative. So I feel like that if they grow off of that, they'll at least score enough goals to keep them up. And that's why I have right there Norwich as number 16. So now we're getting into the top 15. Um, so, little disclaimer, a lot of the things I say are mostly somewhat facts, somewhat opinion. That's because I don't want to bore you forever on a bunch of statistics and going over everything in the entire world. Um, but, now that we're in the top 15, this is the toughest part. Because the, the 15 to 11 are just so difficult to know. Like, it's easy to see who's going to, like, escape relegation and be in the relegation. And who's going to win and who's the top six. That's pretty simple. But in between, it's very difficult. Because all these teams could just randomly come out of nowhere and do something. Or have a player that does magnificent. You never know. But, now let's get into it. Now, number 15, we'll go to my side team. I kind of like this team. I kind of support off to the side just because they're just classy. And they really don't give anyone trouble. That will be... Newcastle United. Newcastle United, they did a decent job in the in the transfer window. They got Andy Carroll, um, Jolton, um, just some big, strong front-up players, reinforced their team, but no one seemed, you know, just, just popped out to me. They didn't really have anybody that just said, wow, Newcastle is going to be fit phenomenal this season nothing like that nothing really um but they still have a solid team i think there would be a decent like at least four points between them and the escaping relegation at minimum um i think they'll do a pretty there'll be probably a decent amount of gap between the the bottom teams this season um but i have them there in 15th it's only appropriate the team that got just barely above them last season gets into 14th and that team is new uh crystal palace oh my god this crystal palace did a fantastic job this transfer window they did well not fantastic but pretty good they addressed the issues that they had but not with players that will really change the club more like just reinforce it um so there's really not much of a sensitive or additive to it really they're just going to be what they kind of were last season um, Crystal Palace, though, um, they did lose Juan Bissaka, who was one of their emerging and best right back that they had, um, to Manchester United. Zaha put in a transfer request. Still hasn't got anything just yet, but there's still time in the European window that he may leave. And that would actually affect my choice on how, like, who would go up. Because the Premier League, they've ended. Their transfer window ended already. And so if they lose Zaha... That's a whole part of the season that they won't have a reliable forward. Bashawai is pretty good. He's a pretty good one. But the two complement each other. I don't think that it'll happen if he's gone. This one is now 13. And so last season's 14th place team gets one place above. It will be Bournemouth. Bournemouth did a okay job in the transfer season. Getting players that address their issues. But not really in proving the team so but they still have some phenomenal players 
they're just going to be, they kept on to a lot of their good players as well, and I feel like 13th is going to be a decent spot they're just going to plop right into. The last newly promoted team, Aston Villa. Aston Villa has done a pretty good job this transfer season, addressing the issues that they need, improving their team, and they look like they're going to be a team that would be good. Now, the criticism people have with Aston Villa is that they think they're going to be very, like, Fulham was last year. Fulham got 19th after spending a bunch of money and a bunch of players, and they look good, and then they just crash. I don't think that's the case with Aston Villa. Aston Villa has reinforced what they already had, sold the players that they needed to get rid of, built a, Premier League, a decent Premier League team, and I think that they will get in 12th. Um, 12th is probably a good spot for them. Um, and I feel like they will do fantastic this season, be a classy, the classy team that they always are. Will they think they'll get into the top 10 in the next few seasons? That remains to be seen. Um, but I feel like 12th will be pretty comfortable for them this season. We have the team that literally got the same exact position last time in 11th. Watford. Watford has done a pretty good job. Um, they only got a few players in to reinforce the squad that they already have. They didn't lose a lot of players. The only players they lost are really ones that were either substitutes or reserves. So they maintained the core of their team, added a few more players to help in certain slots, and have a pretty good shot. Um, granted, they could probably get to the top 10, but the top 10 to like 10 to 1 are just flat out too good so they get a comfortable 11th i think there'll be a lot of points between actually 11th and 12th at, at with a minimum of like six i feel like watford would be just barely not getting the top 10 but they should be proud to you know maintain their mid table status top 10 this is where the toughing gets tough and people's hearts minds and bro and brains will be exploding broken and throwing angry comments into the youtube section youtube comic extension so where do we start off well wonderful viewers we are starting off number 10 with west ham now west ham is i feel like 11 to 6, maybe even 5, are going to be tight this, this season. West Ham has done a good job of getting players that they need um, for the transfer market, as well as restructuring their team after losing their main striker, Arnautovic. West Ham, though they did a good job, they'll just barely... Not you have no idea how difficult it was to put all these teams together. I was like putting them here and back, looking at their teams, looking at the squads, going over it all over again. I'm just like, oh, where do I put these teams? But West Ham, solid ten. All right, now in ninth place we have Leicester City. So Leicester City has maintained a lot of the players that they had, added Helemans, which is a fantastic signing um, that they have loaned from last season. But, um, I just couldn't really place them anywhere else, but their, their team is solid. They have a really good team. I just don't see them getting anywhere above ninth. Them and West Ham, I was going back and forth on on who was going to get ninth and 10th just because of the way their squad is and how much they didn't address their main issues. And with Leicester City now losing Maguire to Manchester United, their defense, um, though Maguire wasn't the only part of that defense they have no one to replace him and so their defense will be weak until probably january and we'll see where they go from there next up we have eighth place and eighth place we have wolverhampton wolverhampton last season was the just somehow came out of nowhere with an amazing team for the championship made themselves better in the premier league and got 10th i think that they will maintain this similar area within eighth place I would have probably placed them maybe higher somewhere um, with the team that they have. that just looks phenomenal, and they did a fantastic job in the transfer window, adding more players, getting rid of a few but not too much that would hinder the team. And they are, I say eighth is a comfortable spot. The only reason I'm not placing them higher is because of the Europa League. 
and the Europa League is going to be tough for them because this is the first time they have experience in it, and they'll have to like fight in it a lot, and it'll wear their players down a little bit, and it'll be a little difficult for them. So I feel like eighth is a comfortable spot. After eighth comes seventh, and in seventh place, this is where the controversy kind of begins. We have Chelsea. Now, I'm not biased. I swear. I look at these clubs. I look at what they have, what they offer as a team, and Chelsea just doesn't do it for me. Reasons why is that yes, they got two new players um, before their transfer ban hit, and um, especially Christian Pulisic, I think would be a very good player for them. Um, but the thing is, is that they lack depth in the defense. Their defense is not going to be the same. They have a lot of wing back players, but they don't have a lot of center back players, and I feel like that will hinder them in some way. Um, they are going to be in the Champions League, so they'll have a tough time with that coming out of the Europa League, where it's a little more easier, I guess, um, you could say. Um, but it takes longer. The Europa League team takes longer. Um, but here's the thing, is that Pulisic, as a player, he cannot... I don't think that he will replicate what Eden Hazard had. Eden Hazard made that club. He was the reason they always did well because of how good of a passer, crosser, shot, everything he was. Pulisic, great player, but I don't think he can stand up to those same mentality. Plus, you have Frank Lampard, who led Derby County last season to a decent spot, but lost to Aston Villa in the final. Now he's Chelsea's manager. I don't think he can do it either. Um, just the way that their team is, the transfer ban, everything just went on this season. I'd say seventh is where they're going to be ending up this season. In sixth place, for the first time in forever, we have Everton. Now, Everton has done a very good job in this transfer season, bringing a lot of quality players reinforcing their team yes no one really like is 100 standing out but the squad that they have is going to be phenomenal this season they're going to perform they'll get six and a europa league spot i really believe it them and chelsea i was kind of going back and forth on and i think that both chelsea and everton have a have a chance of getting those spots of seven and six but ultimately i believe that everton will come up Come out on top. At fifth, we have Manchester United. Now, Manchester United um, didn't do a really good job this transfer season bringing in players. They brought in some good defenders that would help reinforce their back line, which they definitely needed to do. Splashed a lot of cash getting Wambasaka and Maguire. Um, I feel like their defense is going to be very good this season, but their attack. Is lacking. Yes, they have Martial, Rashford, and Sanchez. Sanchez has been off these last few seasons. Rashford has been has been like the main man, and Martial is on and off. Um, but they didn't replace Lukaku, and that's the biggest thing. That Lukaku was their main man up front. They just didn't play him correctly. That's why he didn't perform. And best of luck with him at Inter. He'll do great. But Manchester United, solid fifth place. Hey, we get it to the top four. Oh boy, who do we have right here? Well, y'all will be very surprised on who I have at fourth. Fourth place this season will be Liverpool. Now hold your horses, everybody. The former Champions League winners didn't do anything this transfer season. They didn't bolster their squad nothing really changed they just sold a few players brought in a few young talents but nothing no one really great really that will be a starter of any sort um and no one that really stood out to me watching them every season and though they i know that they won today against norwich i am i understand that but allison just got injured today but i, I had him in fourth beforehand but now i'm a little more comfortable putting them there as, as it were with allison getting injured today their defense was dodgy norwich was able to get through just didn't get a good shot because of allison now that he's out 
what's going to happen. They're, it's Van Dyke looked like the only person today, and that might not be true for later. They're in their attack is fantastic, but I just don't see them performing as well. Especially if they want to reclaim that Champions League title, I think they'll be doing a very good job of doing that. But I think fourth place, Liverpool will get fourth place. Um. And you can rant to me all you want about how they'll get second. And, you know, honestly, I can see them getting second, too. Or maybe maybe, maybe first. But the per the team that I am first, I know that they will get, they'll win it. So, but we'll get to that in a second. Third. And I'm happy for our, my, this team getting in the spot. And this shows you that I'm not biased. Third place, we have Arsenal. Now, oh man, Arsenal looks like their attack... And their midfield is going to be disgusting this season. It's it's going to be incredible to see how Ceballos and Xhaka and Torreira play off. And as well as Ozil play off with Pepe, Lacazette, and Aubameyang. And then we have some young talent that will actually also help us help Arsenal progress this season. The issue is their defense. Now, they did help out with defense getting David Luiz and Tyranny this season. but We'll see how the defense plays out. I feel like that will be their main problem still this season. Um, I think they'll only get above Liverpool by goals scored. I think that they'll be tied for that spot. And just because of the goal differential, Arsenal will just be barely ahead of them. Arsenal will go on, get third place, and finally get Champions League football again. Oh my goodness, it's it's been forever. You have no idea how it forever it's been. It always pains me to say this, but Arsenal's main rival for the second spot will be Tottenham Hotspur. Now, Tottenham Hotspur, fantastic season going out. They just, just barely, barely lost it, but they got they went to the Champions League final, really focused on that, though they lost. Probably why they lost form at the very end. I think they could have gotten third if they didn't lose that form. Maybe even kept up with Liverpool. Um, but either way, I think they're going to get second this season. Why I say this is because they got in three good players. Lo Celso, Ndombele, and Sessegnon. And Ndombele will probably be the best addition to that team. He will reinforce the back, being a center defensive mid. How about in that area? Distribute the ball. He's a great passer, great defensive-ish player, and he will do great wonders for that team, as well as the amazing strikers they already have, the amazing midfield they already have, and the defense is pretty good as well. Great goalkeeper. Tottenham Hotspur, you will get second this season. First place, as looking at this table, you can already tell who it's going to be. It's really obvious. First place... Three-time champion after the season, Manchester City. Now, Manchester City is the undisputed kings of Euro of England right now. They increased the amount of players, uh, got three or four players in, three of which are going to be great depth players to bolster their team even further. Their team is phenomenal. It's disgusting. It just, it, they're going to win. There's no way that any of our, the other teams can catch up to them. Because all the other teams, though, have great players, great squads, have flaws. Tottenham. Tottenham, though, having a great team, doesn't have anybody besides Kane considered world class. I mean, maybe Lloris as well, but, Lloris as well. But other than them, there really isn't anyone considered world class. Sure, they got some great, fantastic players on that team, but no one that I see that will just take them to that extra step to take the title. Arsenal. Arsenal, though, their attack and midfield look disgusting. Probably the best attack um, besides Man City in this league. Um, you could probably make a good case for also Liverpool as well. But their defense is still lacking. Though they got some players in the defense, it's not enough for them to possibly get first even close and then Liverpool they didn't reinforce themselves they got a few young players but no one that's going to like help them out so 
it's not going to be a, like as like a tight race as it was last season. I think that Manchester City will be four points, four to eight points above the rest of the play, the, the teams in the league that are in the Champions League spots. Their closest one will be Tottenham, but no one can catch them. I don't think they'll dominate as much as they did last season, but they still will win regardless. Um, I just can't see anybody else winning. So let's put things into context, okay? Liverpool versus Manchester City. That was the first game of the season, basically, in the Community Shield. Uh, Manchester City won 5-4 in penalty kicks after a 1-1 draw. Pretty even game. Evenly matched. Great goals from both sides. But the thing was that Manchester City and Liverpool, their quality is different. Man Liverpool, 9 out of the 11 players they played were their starters. 100% always playing in the game. Manchester City, they only started with 5 of their 11 starters. The rest of them were mostly substitutes. That just goes to show you how ridiculous Manchester City is. There's no one that's going to be able to defeat them. They may go a few, unless the three Champions League teams, or maybe even Chelsea, or Man, or Man U, if they change their the ways they do things bring in more players that will impact their team they may have a chance of finally dethroning the king of england but until that happens manchester city congratulations you'll be the third three-time champion of the premier league this season so thank you for watching everybody um hope you enjoyed this video if you think that i uh if you have any comments about what, who you think is going to win the Premier League or what kind of table you want to use, go ahead and use Tier Maker. That was pretty good. It was pretty easy, as well as just putting maybe down in the comments below. You can give me criticism. You can give me support, whatever you want to give me. I don't care. Um, this is just what I believe and how I think the Premier League will go out based on what their players are with the current squads, as well as how they reinforce themselves this off season. Um, but thank you everybody for watching. Um, I will be updating um, you every single week about Arsenal and seeing how they progress throughout the season. I, I might do stuff about the Europa League, Carabao Cup, and FA Cup when it comes around. We'll see. Um, but thank you everybody. Um, see you next time. Later, my Buccaneers.